tired of D Green with this man. Hey. This will be the most viewed women's basketball game of all time. Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark. The rematch of the 2023 National Championship. Now salute to both of these women on both Iowa and LSU. But definitely shout out to Caitlin Clark because whoever paid attention to Iowa? Literally what's there to do in Iowa? Just off the fact alone that Caitlin Clark put Iowa on the map is an achievement itself. Bruh, she be having celebrities pop out to her games and everything. I swear to God, I seen Travis Scott at one of their games. <laughs> Travis Scott has no business being in Iowa. But that's the Caitlin Clark effect. Now it's crazy, man. Everybody was making fun of women's basketball. But look, now women's March Madness is way more exciting than the men's. With all due respect on the men's side, there's definitely some good players. Don't get me wrong. But there's no true superstars. There's no Zeon Williamson. There's no fucking like... You know what I'm saying? There's no clear-cut, like, superstar on the men's side. I mean, mm, I guess you could say the Zach Eady dude, but let's face it. This guy's gonna be a complete bust in the NBA. This guy's just gonna be another Bubon Marijuanovich. He's going to get completely exposed at the next level because there's going to be niggas your same size. He's not going to be doing none of this bullshit against Embiid and Jokic. So like I said, Women's March Madness viewership is probably higher than the men's. Today is literally like the most litest day to watch women's basketball, bro. I can't believe I'm saying that in 2024, but it's the truth. I have never been this excited to watch women's basketball, bro. And I know I'm not the only one. Because right after LSU Iowa, we get to watch Juju Watkins and Paige Bukers. These are literally all superstar players. Bro, women's college basketball is more lit than the WNBA. The WNBA doesn't have this much hype. Now, who do y'all got in this Elite 8 matchup, bro? LSU versus Iowa. Now, if you guys don't know, when LSU played UCLA in the Sweet 16... The LA Times put out an article basically calling the LSU women's team all thugs. I mean, they didn't literally say that, but they basically did at the same time. They called them villains or like degenerates or something. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This was racist as fuck. This was racist. Ain't no way around it, bro. Because do you know why they called this LSU team villains? Because majority of their team is black. And they love to talk trash. As soon as a team starts to win games and majority of their players are black, they're automatically super villains? What type of racist shit is this? This is literally what makes the game of basketball beautiful. Trash talking. Matter of fact, this is one of the main reasons I'm watching the game. Trash talk. Because y'all all remembered in the championship game last year when Angel Reese flexed on Caitlin Clark and was pointing at her ring finger. Hitting her with the John Cena, you can't see me? 
Now, I'm not going to lie. That was very savage, Angel Reese. But I don't believe she did this for no reason. Because Caitlyn Clark be talking her shit too. Caitlyn Clark is not one of those. She's going to stand on business. And this is exactly why this is the must-see game of the year. Caitlyn Clark is by far the best player in women's college basketball. She will be the best player on the floor. But LSU as a whole team? LSU is better than Iowa. So if LSU can shut down Caitlin Clark, oh, it's GG's. GG's. But that's way easier said than done. Let's not forget that Caitlin Clark is literally the all-time scorer in college basketball. Not just in women's, but also men's. She's literally a walking fucking bucket. She's literally the Steph Curry of college basketball, men's or women's. Bruh, I ain't gonna lie, Caitlin Clark would probably drop me off. I'm not afraid to say that. I'm a real ass nigga, bro. And I can admit it when somebody can hoop. She has the whole entire bag and she can pull from fucking 40 feet. 1v1, Caitlin Clark is probably dropping me off. Game to 11, I ain't gonna lie. I would probably give her like 9 points, but I would probably lose. Sometimes. But on the LSU side, they got some dogs, man. You know what I'm saying? Angel Reese will fuck around and give you maybe like 20 points, 11 or 12 rebounds, and her supporting cast definitely doesn't suck. I'm forgetting some of their names, but now they got that white girl from Louisville. She's nice. They didn't have her last year, but she's definitely nice. So that's another added piece. Bro, I cannot wait to the tip off. Bro, I'm more excited about this game than the fucking NBA. And I understand that it's April Fool's Day, but I am not joking. I am dead ass. Bro, these NBA games be putting me to sleep, bro. These boring ass games. Once LeBron retires, I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably going to stop watching it all together. So shout out to these women for putting women's basketball on the map. Now once Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese go to the WNBA, is the WNBA going to be just as hype? I don't know. But we need to enjoy this game while we can. We are witnessing greatness. We have never, ever, literally ever, ever talked about women's basketball like we are today and a lot of people will try to bring race into this matchup because like i said lsu is majority black and on the iowa side majority of their team is white but Please do not make this a black versus white thing because it is not one of those. Although during pregame, their locker rooms look a lot different. Now, my final prediction on who's going to win this game, LSU or Iowa? Hmm, you know what, man? I love Angel Reese's game, and I love that she talks shit. But I ain't going to lie, bro. I got to go with Caitlin Clark. 
she can drop 40 points in her sleep. And last year in the championship game against LSU, she got into foul trouble early, so she couldn't really get her shit off. She really couldn't play her game like she wanted to. But this game should be a completely different story because I doubt she'll be in foul trouble like this again. But let me know who y'all got down below in the comment section. And let's see who's gonna be the last woman standing. Taking my polar now, effing in and out. Take me anywhere, I'm taking over the trap.